So I recently realized that I have never done a tutorial for you guys showing you guys how to solve an inequality with square root. So this is the one. When we do something like this, we have to be extremely careful. If you square both sides, sometimes you may miss like small details. So let me not do that yet. Instead, I wanted to show you guys the graphs for this and that so we can get the answer first and then we will see the technical parts that we will have to be careful. So here we go. The first graph that we will have to get is y equals square root of x plus 2. Now, for the square root of x graph, it looks like this. When we have x plus 2 inside, we move the graph twice to the left. So we have 1, 2. Here is negative 2, we begin, and then the graph looks like this. Okay. Now, for the other equation, we will have to graph y is equal to x. That's just going to be this line right here, y equals x. So far, so good. Okay, have a look. We want the square root to be greater than x. So that means if you look at the graphs, we want the blue part to be above the x. I should put it above right here, above the yeah, because greater than, yeah, looks better this way. And let's see, for what x value will this happen? Our starting is actually at negative 2 because we have a domain issue when we have square root. Starting is when x is equal to negative 2 up to whatever this point is. And I will tell you, this point right here is positive 2. Why? Because positive 2 plus 2 is 4, square root of 4 happens to be 2. So, to answer this question for you guys, when is this above than that? This, this and that. So if we go from negative 2 to 2, that's the answer I will just write down. The answer is when x is in between negative 2 and 2. Including negative 2, because this right here does achieve negative 2. Not including the positive 2, because originally we want this to be just greater than. So there's no equal sign. So this is the answer. Now let's see the dangerous part if you just square both sides. If you look at this, square both sides, which looks like a typical normal thing to do, right? And we get x plus 2 greater than x squared. And perhaps move this two terms to the other side. So we have, let me just keep the 0 here and then greater than x squared minus x minus 2. And then factor it. We get x minus 2 and x plus 1. And uh, right here, we care about when x is 2, we get 0, so we care about 2. From here, we care about negative 1. But I think you have, you see already, if you just square both sides, you have 2 and negative 1. You don't get the negative 2. Be really careful. The reason that this doesn't work is because when you have square root, there's a domain issue. You need to make sure that the inside here has to be greater than or equal to zero. So when x is greater, when x plus two is greater than or equal to zero, you have to consider x is greater than or equal to negative two as a condition, All right? And then right here, I don't think this is like the best way, if possible, Try to just use the graph to solve inequalities with square roots. If not, then once you get the answers or all that, um, pay more attention, be more careful for that. So, yeah. And uh, how should I... This is not entirely wrong, but of course this is not going to give us the correct answer either. So... Yeah, be careful, be, be, be careful, just say be careful. Yeah. If you have a systematic way to like square both sides and all that stuff, uh, feel free to drop a comment down below and let us know. It can get complicated, but again, be careful.